So here's a nice little question about falling objects and about terminal velocity. Uh, this value here, g, little g, this is gravitational acceleration. It's an important thing to understand. Acceleration. It is not the gravitational force. A lot of people think that's gravitational force. It's how much force there is per kilogram. But for all objects, it's the same gravitational acceleration. Okay, so this one, you have to work out the distance, the height that you have. Yeah, calculate the distance the rock falls. So in other words, how high have you lifted up the rock so that it hits the ground 15 meters per second before? You've got some other data, you've got this mass, you've got little g. Now actually, this is the idea that the gravitational potential energy is equal to the kinetic energy it has when it hits the ground. And you have this written in the equation sheet in this form, mgh equals half mv squared. Now, okay, we know the mass, and it's the same mass on both sides of this equation. This is the gravitational potential energy. We know g, we don't know h. We want to work out h, distance. Height, in other words. Height and distance, so they're both in meters, so the same, the same quantity. Half is just a number. Mass, we know. Velocity, we know, and we can just square it. So all you really had to do from here was just to input the numbers. 0 0.5 is the mass, times 10, times h, that's the one we want to work out, equals a half times 0 0.5 times 15 squared. Now, it looks a little bit daunting even to have it like that, but what I normally do when I do this is I simplify it down. So I don't know h yet, but I can do half times 0 0.5 times 10, that's just 5. So I've got 5h. I can do a half times 0 0.5, that's 0 0.25. And I can do 15 squared, not bother doing it in my head. 225. So actually now I can simplify it still further. I can say 5h is uh, 225 times 0 0.25, 56.25. So h equals 56.25 divided by 5. 11.25 meters. Okay, really not that difficult. You just need to have worked out that this was this type of question where you're equating uh, potential energy, gravitational potential energy, and kinetic energy. Normally, when you do this one, you're trying to work out the V, you're trying to work out the velocity, but here you're given the velocity. Emma drops, drops another rock. The, this rock has a mass of a kilogram, so it's twice the mass, and they hit the ground at the same speed. Well, why is this? Now, most people said that the gravity force is the same. Gravitational pull is the same. I heard loads and loads and loads of times. Gravitational force is not the same. More mass, more force. F equals ma, we talked about in the last one. Force is mass times acceleration. High mass, high force. So the force is not the same. It's not about the force. What is the same is gravitational acceleration. So gravitational acceleration is the same for all objects. You don't need to say that because you've already been told to ignore air resistance. Okay, but you could say if we ignore air resistance. And air resistance when you're falling is actually pretty low, especially when you're not falling very fast. So we'll come back to air resistance if you ever need to talk about terminal velocity in P3. But here we're told to ignore air resistance, so we're not talking about terminal velocity at this point. Um, another one, a way you could put this, is that if the equation is mgh equals half mv squared, and m and m are the same number. Well, this is the mass of the object, isn't it? So we can actually cancel out both of the m's. Divide both sides by the mass. It didn't work very well, Red Pen. Thank you for that. Let's cancel them both out. 
So actually, gh equals half v squared. Okay. You don't need to write that, you don't need to show the al algebra, but you just say mass is on both sides of this equation, so it, it's irrelevant, it doesn't matter, it doesn't change things. Just quickly then, just for fun, that obviously becomes 2gh equals v squared, and then the inverse of squared is root, root 2gh equals v. Nice little bit of algebra that you might need to do in a similar type of question.